My name is Pascal Burume. I am a Gold Student Ambassador and MVP in Windows Insider Program. I'm an IT consultant and data visualization at OVD. Uh, I'm enthusiastic about uh, new technologies and the field of artificial intelligence. And that's why I'm going to present my solution based on my passion with, with AI and new technologies. Uh, today, I'm going to start with problem. Uh, in today, with high, high, highly competitive job markets, effective recruitment is essential for organization to attract and hire the best talent. The quality of hires can have a significant impact on the overall success and performance of the business. However, traditional recruitment methods such as manual reviewing resumes and conducting a personal interview can be uh, inefficient and time consuming. And this outdated recruitment technique can lead to missed opportunities and delay hiring decision, which can harm harm an organization competitiveness in the job market. And organization that relies so solely on these methods, methods risk losing out on top candidates to competitors that are using modern, more modern, efficient recruitment strategies. And to stay ahead of competition and attract the best talent, organizations should all consider adopting modern recruitment methods that leverage technologies and data analytics. By doing so, they can streamline their recruitment process and make better hiring decisions more quickly, leading to improved business outcome and a more successful organization. So to overcome all this problem, we propose our HVA recruitment process with Microsoft Technologies. And with, with this solution, we try to, to deep dive into how new technologies combined with artificial intelligence can leverage and can bring new decisions based on data. And with the rapid advancement, with rapid advancement in technologies, organizations can now leverage various tools and platforms to optimize their recruitment process. Improving efficiency, accuracy, and cost effectiveness, our projects aim to enhance the efficiency and effectiveness of actual recruitment process through the use of Microsoft Power Platform. And to achieve these goals, we employed Power BI to track essential recruitment KPIs, such as cost per hire, time to hire, and recruiter eff efficiency. And additionally, we create a frequently asked question resource using Power Apps to provide a quick access to a share process related information for HR manager and other user who don't have the time to understand the report, what the report is about. And maybe they can have some, some additional question and this frequent ask a question can help them to answer rapidly question to have a better understanding and better idea about the process. And additionally, we, we have utilized Power Automate to automate the task of requesting information from Azure Cognitive Search and filling it to into Power Apps to respond to query. And this integration uh, ensure, use, ensure that user could access accurate and helpful information quickly and easily, ultimately leading to more efficient and effective, effective recruitment process. And this is the architecture which we base on our project. Uh, in the left side, we can have uh, local storage or maybe a OneDrive storage, which is connected directly uh, through Azure with Azure Cognitive Services. And inside Azure Cognitive Services, we have used language services, which can allow us to upload documents and bring and allow Azure Cognitive Search to, to make a search, intelligent search, to extract some question and some relative answer. And once it's done, we connect it to Power Platforms based on Power Automate and Power Apps. Once application is done, we can directly integrate it into our report with Power BI. And the file source that we've used in our project is come from Excel. 
So this is first presentation. So here we have the Azure AI, and we have already logged in into Azure Cognitive Services, and we go directly through custom question answering, where you can upload your documents, or maybe you can you can you can add your document through URLs or maybe chit chat. But in this demo, we have used a, a file that is stored onto our local storage. And once you have done, you can name it, you can classify file structure. But here we have already uploaded the document. Then you can go to uh, edit knowledge base where it can allow you to see some question in relevant answers. And if you if you want, you can customize or maybe you can you can add something new or maybe you can add you can make uh, your question to look like more accuracy based on what user are asked, uh, what user may be asked many times to your report. And this can help you to, to, to relate it your answer to your question. And once you have done, you can deploy it. And to deploy, you need to go to here on to play knowledge base, where you can get a prediction URL. But in your review and suggestion, it is another option that will allow you to see um, how you can improve your your your, appli your your application. I mean, how you can it, it can going to collect some questions that may be asked many times on your on your reports. And this 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 all this kind of question it can be uh, it will be capped and to show you that how you can uh, review and how you can apply this this suggestion. And many times it's the question is about that analysis, that analyst CV rejected, how many CV we have received, higher, what is higher time. And this is kind of questions that may uh, always come and you can review and accept it all that will be automatically integrated to your solution in order to improve a, a way you're responding to a question. And once you have done, then you can go to a next step with Power Automate, where we are going to connect to our Azure AI with our with our solution, with our with directly with Power Automate. And here is just a a view of a a flow that I have created that is take a, an action from HTTP and directly we add an action compose and compose we add some some we have an input that will automatically gets answer and after answer we have a uh, another flow which concern about a, a a button a bot button from power apps and after that we are going to integrate it into uh into power into power bi and once you have integrated it into power bi it will be easily for you to manage and to see how is the question look like when you make a test. And here I'm going just to make a test about, just to ask a question about uh, what is the hire, what is the cost per hire. I directly, when I'm going to click on get answer, it will give me an answer. This will help, it will allow hire manager to have an overview, to understand how cost per hire can, can give uh, an information how they have done their um, their recruitment process, and if you want to know directly the CV that was rejected, you can just type a question CV rejected, and they directly you have uh, all the information about the CV that have been rejected. Let me come back. Okay, and the, in the answer you can see across all four recruiters, the number of CV CVs range from seven to eight. The number of CVs accepted range from three to seven. And the average rate of which job offer were accepted were accepted range from 35% to 85.29%. And after that, we have, we have another view which can help us to see a, a dashboard. And in this dashboard, we have all information about the, the, the category of CV we have received. And it's a platform where we get more. Where we get more uh, more job, where we get more uh, more subscribe, more people who submit their their uh, their information, and here down we can see uh, the, a a graphic that show a 
the number of CVs that have been accepted, and the average of each recruiter. And if you want to see a, so the performance of your recruiters, you can see here based on data that they've been collected, that a person will give, if, if you pass uh, it's now you can get more chance to be accepted. But if you go, if you pass through a uh, John, John, John P, probably you will not pass. <laughs> but it's just a, a kind of information that you can see based on uh, data analysis. And if you combine AI and with power, with power BI. And I, if you come back to, to all of this solution, you can see how we can combine AI and power platforms to be the solutions that can allow high recruiter to make a good decision. And the benefits of using this solution, it, it, it range of three or it four, 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 four benefits. Firstly, uh, with, when you're using Microsoft Power Platform, it can enhance your HR recruitment process in, or in several benefits. Now, firstly, it will allow you for greater efficiency in tracking recruitment KPIs, such as cost per hire, time to hire, and recruiter efficiency using Power BI. And this can provide HR manager and other stakeholders with real-time insights and help them to make data-driven data decisions. And secondly, the creation of frequently question answer. It is a resource that is using power app, power apps to provide a convenient and easily accessible sources of HR process related information for HR manager and other user. And lastly, power automate it, it directly can request uh, information for Azure Cognitive Services with Azure Search directly to respond and to enhance uh, the performance and the efficiency when you want to take a decision. And this integration is a way that you can lead to get to, to take a, base, a good decision based on data analysis. And the use of this kind of solution is a kind of revolutionary solution because it shows you how the capability of using technology, it can bring you a, a new way, a new, a new area of taking decision because you will not take a decision that can come up to your mind, but to take a decision based on data analysis and visualization and with AI that can help you to have a, a, an insight that you may not know. 